couple of evening call outs a couple of evening call outs um, just quick jobs I've been putting one of them off for a couple of months because it's uh, well I've put both of them off actually um, but they were unable to get anyone else out or they just didn't get round to it and I've had a cancellation late today so I'm going round and they're both in the same same area so one's uh, just to change a dimmer and the other are some nuisance tripping uh, she's lost her all her downstairs lights um, there's a three gang switch when she operates the three gang switch she loses all the downstairs lights and it's been like that for a couple of weeks um, she asked me I was solid so I couldn't do it um, she texted me again today and because I've had this cancellation in Bournemouth I'm able to go and do it they're both in Arundel Isabel? Oh yeah. Hi. Hi. Uh, um, is it okay if I do some filming of this uh, fault? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's all right. It's all right with you. Okay, great. Yes. There's the offending light switch. I will get my rocket lights out. And you open the garage. Oh, yes. So it means I've got this to before, yeah. yes, pull the door down a bit yeah. in order to get at everything. Okay, no problem. And there's a little ladder here. There's a ladder there. Okay, I've got a ladder as well. Yeah, that'll do. Because that's um, so lights, yeah. there which was then down everything else was was okay yeah, the downstairs lights was yeah. down and that is an overcurrent that is an overcurrent so the rcd is not going and you're not losing the upstairs sockets no or the downstairs it's slightly sockets. worrying it's slightly worrying that it's an over overcurrent okay. so it's overloading it's overloading on under cupboard lights 
and on we've got halogen 50 watt halogen down lights we've got one two three four five six six of those that's 300 watts anything else more more down lights here one two three four five six seven eight that's another 400 watts, so that's 700 watts. That, light that doesn't really count, so 700 watts. 700 watts, so that should be fine, shouldn't it? And that one, which is another 50. So under a, under a thousand watts there. Let's go and see what the uh, see what the uh, MCB is. It's not going to be a three amp or anything, is it? Six B six. It's a B six. Okay, let's have a look inside the. Um, turn it back off. Make sure it's off. Uh, okay. That's off. Let's go and look inside the light switch, and then do some testing from the light switch. Why? Oh. Um, Oh, not a Barney. Um, misunderstanding, really. Yeah. Um, we went to an open day at Portsmouth Grammar School. Oh, yes. And uh, before that happened, uh, the head of music there said, I'll go and see uh, Dr. Price at the cathedral as well with Claude, maybe. Uh huh. So I, I texted Dr. Price, who's the organist. Okay. And Master of the Chorus was there. At Cathedral At uh, Portsmouth, Portsmouth Cathedral, yeah, right. Anglican Cathedral. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, he wasn't around in the morning. So we wandered down to the cathedral. We couldn't get hold of him. Mm -hmm. And then he rang me. And so I, we'd gone for lunch in a cafe. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, oh, I'm around. So you could come and see me. But um, um, it would be better if you came in the weekday and Claude could sort of sit in on the choir practice and yeah. meet some of the boys and mm -hmm. everything. And um, so we did, we arranged Friday and then Sunday uh, Claude and Esther went to the service and Elizabeth came in a wheelchair and oh, yes, played from downstairs. Her. Yeah. And Esther was talking to Elizabeth and saying about this and um, she was saying, well, I'll prepare some music for him to sing. Mm. But she thought it was the grammar school, not not... The cathedral. Right. And then Dr. Price phoned her this morning and said, I'm doing a voice trial with Claude Young. Uh huh. That was the first I'd heard of a voice trial. You yeah. know, we were just yeah. going for advice. Really. Yeah. Because, you know, he can't really join Ch Portsmouth Cathedral unless he's a member of the grammar school. And right. And you know, obviously not got in there yet. So, mm -hmm. and so Elizabeth then um, got hold of Esther and said, I. You've got me to prepare, you know, him for an audition, and he's poaching Claude from the choir, and I've lost two to that choir already. You know, really? but, it's but you're not going to be driving him to Portsmouth, you know, on a regular basis if I you don't know what we're going to be if doing. He's not, really if he's not there. in this school, either. Yeah, I might move there. Oh. Anyway, this is all sleeved, and there's nothing untoward in here. It all looks absolutely fine. So. What I need to do now is, um, there's two possibilities. One, it's a broken um, breaker. You don't have to stand here listening to me, of course. You don't oh, no, I to. find it fascinating. Okay. One, it's one, the breaker's stuff, which is unlikely. And two, there's a short somewhere, which we could find out by testing, continuity testing, all the branches of this circuit here. Which? I go in there, I put everything back on again, and it's fine. Yeah. Sometimes it's actually come back on its own, Rupert. Come back on its own? Yes. So where it skews the lights late at night, I haven't bothered to go to the garage, yeah. and then left it till the morning, come back in the morning, everything's working fine. So actually, she's just said it, um, the client's just said it uh, sometimes turns itself back on, the MCB. Uh, without even going out to the garage, so it fuses itself at night and then comes on in the morning. But it's not the RCD that's going, and it's uh, so I think um, we're looking at a uh, melted cable, something like that, overheated melted cable in in the ceiling probably. 
above one of these down lighters and it's intermittent as well this um, possibly one of the things I should have first done is a functional test to see if they come on turn off off or on and I might still do that before I do this continuity test okay none of the lights came on when I turned these on and um, the MCB is still turned on so um, dodgy connection in the consumer unit perhaps but let's have a look at this and see whether we've got power to here um, so where's the feed where's the feed it goes into there okay, so that might be a feed okay okay we've got 243 volts at the switch Three volts at the switch. Have we got 200? So it's not the MCB. Have we got 230 volts in the circuit? It could be a could be a broken neutral. A broken neutral. 243 there. All the switches are on. Interesting. That's to earth. That's to earth. Okay. Got no. We've got any neutrals in here? Yes, we've got a neutral. We've got a neutral, so let's try it to, to, to uh, the two live conductors now. And um, two live conductors. Okay, we've got no voltage between the two line, line conductors, which tells me it's a broken neutral. Let's check the others, and any of the others will be dead as well. Yeah, broken neutral. Okay, so it could be a broken neutral in the consumer unit, so that's where we'll look first. That, um, doing that big long nice EICR and watching videos through sometimes to remind myself of what was going on and sometimes to get results which I had lost or whatever um, looking through that footage I just realized how bloody dull some of this really is um, watching yourself is excruciating um, anyway so I'm looking for a broken neutral here and there's nothing I can see straight off although there's a lot of bare conductor showing a broken neutral could be anywhere in the circuit um, so where uh, Tweezers aren't anywhere. Right. That's a ring. That's a ring number five or two point five. Ah, oh, there's a two point five joined in to the light circuit there. Ah, uh, so there's a two point five mill in the light circuit so we've only got one two three four five six seven ways used one two three four five six seven seven ways so we turn that that one off yeah we do have two two circuits in there there's two one mills going in. Oh, there's a joint in the 2.5. The SD card on my camera uh, ran out of space when I was doing that, um, what you've just seen. Uh, I got up to determining that there was a broken neutral in the consumer unit, which I hadn't seen when I scanned the consumer unit. I think I was there about half an hour. But uh, it was odd that so I didn't, you couldn't see that there was no neutral connection in the neutral bar it was all it all seemed tight so it's an example of um the client t telling you something that uh puts you on the wrong scent it wasn't tripping the downstairs lights at all it just there was no neutral um in in the consumer unit well here i am back in shelford and we're going to look this morning at why when the client turns on his garden lights 
one of my CCTV uh, installations trips the consumer unit. So, as I understand it, and I, I went over it several times with him and I'm still confused, when he turns the CCTV on with the garden lights, mm -hmm. it trips the consumer unit. So that's the RCD, isn't it? Customers narrative as in the last job might be confusing me when uh, they he turned on the garden floodlights with my CCTV installation which is here then the CCTV installation being switched on tripped the floodlights I know it's quite confusing. So let's see what actually happens. Everything's on in the consumer unit now. And then I've seen these. We have paddock flood, tree floodlights and socket for pump. There's a 63 amp uh, RCD there and a main switch here. Um, I can't remember if I put this in. I don't think I did. This is my circuit. It's MK, so the MK MCBs have changed a little bit, but never mind. And the CCDV I put in, it's all cables. It's, it's, it's not, um, I suppose I can't get into this now. No, I can't get into it, but this all seems to be on. The hard drive for it is here. And um, this is the DVR. You can take the hard drive off quite easily because I've just put it on the externally there. And uh, yeah, I use those little uh, two amp sockets for that, and then then uh, switch f a fuse um, fuse connection unit there, or rather a fuse spur switch. Um, but it has its own. Um, feed in high tough. So in high tough feed. And up above here we have a contactor. So these three are floods. I think there's a flood in here somewhere as well. Yeah, there's a contactor feed, there's a flood and uh, then two floods here. So we'll be looking at a flood here that um, one of these two is tripping it. So let's turn on socket for pump and nothing comes on. Not sure why. Tree floods. Um, this isn't coming on, is it? So, um, CCTV still on, everything's still switched on here. We've got no lights, no neons coming on. No neons coming on. So get a voltage tester out, get some probes on them and try and make those neons come on. That's where to work from. So I've got my MFT uh, set on the voltage setting and then this is clagged on to the neutral for these three. Oh, I've only got 10 volts coming. The other, the other MCB We've got 240 and the, the one before it 240, the one before it 240, but when I put it on here, I've got 10 volts.
okay. I'll have a look. Okay, the that's, and that's so brilliant. By going up along in the loft and dropping it down, it's got its natural root. Yeah. And then it probably go on that wall down here anyway. Um, yeah. Where was the shower? It, that was set, there was a sort of a room here. Yeah. And the shower was here. And uh, so we took that out to restore the landing. And behind the uh, plaster board. Oh, behind the plaster board, the you have panelling. Here. Yeah, it was. It was painted over like this. At one point they painted over it. Then they, um, it had been plasterboarded over. Yeah. And uh, So this so had plasterboard did, over it, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it had, uh, uh, yeah. So, um, Is this the original know, paint? That's the original, well, it was, a, so at some point they painted, the original would have been just the yeah. plain wood. And, oh, no, um, that's amazing, isn't it? And that's probably all Jacobean as well, is it? Do you think? Yeah, is it, do you think, Mark? Yes, I think, I think Tudor. Um, Tudor. Yeah. yeah, maybe a little bit of James, but um, no, it's 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 really quite quite very early panelling in the. Um, Who have you got in to do, do this? Is Mark? What this is, is Mark. Yeah. Mark. Yeah. What do you? Sorry, what do you? Restoration. Yeah. yeah. So sort of specialising just furniture. Right. Um, and um, panelling for me translates into a, more of a, you know, an expansive uh, mm. form of restoration. Yeah. Which is lovely, really. Is. Um, it's, it's, it's what do you think of this then? Well, um, apart from the age of the house, they're very rare to find, and to find it behind panelling is exceptional. And um, you know, it really is quite a historical find, really, isn't it? Yeah. Um, um, but not being so, look, they cut a patras box into yes, the panelling there, which is quite crude and crash, <laughs> one, isn't it? Yeah, oh God. Awesome. And then yes. they just plasterboarded over it, thank yeah. God, because otherwise yeah. somebody'd have probably ripped it out. Yeah. Look at that. No, that's right. It, 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 it's, it's showing great strength of, you know, all its natural age. Yeah. Um, and the wood itself is very clean and crisp and tidy. Um, possibly from, uh, you know, storage pre-1615 because of the age and the, the, the rays and the, the look of it and the, the fact there's no shrinkage. Um, yeah, so we're so yeah. lucky to find because when this vault wall was revealed, we thought, oh, and when, we, when the window was done, we could see it behind there, or we'll go for it and take it off. And then, yeah, we found it's behind here, so we thought we'd do the whole lot in one go. Yeah. Take it back. Is it this part that does it? It might be. There. So that's on the garden light side. Okay, leave that on. Okay, I'll leave And then yeah. I'll see if those neons come on. So, yeah, because I'm right. booked up till mid-November to... Uh, um, get on with all the telephone wire and stuff that's in that system even if it can be reinstated which right. I, I wrote about before okay. I came and looked at yeah. it and wrote him a letter oh okay yeah um, <laughs> so we're st we, we still haven't moved on from that letter yeah, okay. he just says oh well you're clever so that's why you can do it right. <laughs> so I don't know if that means he read the letter or didn't I, read the I letter don't I don't know um, <clears throat> but anyway that, that would be fantastic if we just do that then they can get on and then, then you know mid-November yeah all right I'll go and I'll thanks. go and uh, carry on thanks Claire right. cheers is it which door do I go out that one yeah that's yeah. the one they're all using yeah. all right List. A youngest son loves list. Look at that. Don't know how you even start learning that. But if you want to, you find a way, don't you? It's like their um their outside light system. I think I probably find it easier to learn a piece of list sort out list the composer not learn a piece of list than like that than uh, sort out the I've forgotten the name of the system but I did I did write to him about it before and it was pretty crazy pretty crazy okay now I've got a oh look they've all come on that's good um, I've got a 
confession to make here and uh, I'm gonna put it on YouTube um, even though I could edit it out and um, not admit to it. What was wrong here was me, my fault. I'm embarrassed to say that what I've done is I put the neutral on. Well, you know what I've done, didn't you? You know, you saw it straight away. I put the neutral on the wrong neutral bar. So, it was the RCD tripping look. Here's my not very tidy neutral going into the bar here. Here's my switch and where it was put in was in here. So I'll just swap that over. We've now got all these lights on. It's all working. Um, it's a trip out for me, uh, for my own fault. And um, I'm just gonna fess up to it. So we'll put all this away and we'll go and um, label up that, that control box. Lab label up the control box and um, see if we can't get that cable up today. I don't know how that happened. I've got a feeling. I've got a feeling it would have been when I did my R1, R2 test on that. So I'll just put, I've got to go around that way, haven't I? So, no, I'll just, I won't need all these. I'll just put these on the table here. Okay. We're up in the, in the attic now. And the control box cables used to come up here somewhere see them now disappeared where have they gone? oh look there's a new ah something's been happening up here got an extractor fan for the bathroom that's new. So the dulcet tones of REM from Mark who's working in the new kitchen um, bathroom. It might as well be a kitchen, it's so huge. Um, so data cable and there's only four, four terminals on it, thank goodness. So um, part of this uh, moulding has snapped off already. So hopefully we got that on camera. Micro switch down there is got on at the bottom of it. And from the right to the left we've got off, off, on. Off, off, on. From right to left and red, black, brown, orange. Looking at the back of that. Location in this room is about at the back of my van. That's my van. So at the back of my van, that's where we've got to find in the loft. So we've just got to find where that cable emerges. It's about 20 minutes later now, and I should be able to pull it. Um, look at what this uh, piping's done. It's got no no support all the way through, except for this, which is broken. So I'm going to be a bit careful of that. There we go. Oh, it's hard. It's hard. 
hard pulling. Won't do the cable any good. There we go. Have got supports. There's one. Support for the piping. <laughs> and there's another one. But the piping is not, <coughs> not using it. I've reinstated the control box uh, temporarily here at the end of the sound thing. The sound is on, isn't it? Um, at the end, so you can turn the lights on. Yeah. And um, it's not a four-way, which I thought it's. It's got Sue Sound um, sound control and the uh, manual override, and then two zones. So there we are, back to the van now. I'm sorry about these videos. Uh, they're getting a bit scrappy and. Uh, no real jobs but I'm so behind EICR that went on two weeks longer and and uh, everything had to move because of it I had just had to get that done um, I know it wasn't a big EICR from a lot of people's standpoints and for others it was but it took me a hell of a long time uh, best part of a month not full time but still um, I'd, I'd banked on having two of us doing it for a week and then a week of paperwork and just nipping in to get the odd uh, bit of data but it actually took a month up. So I'm horrendously behind. I've got my NICEIC um, assessment in less than two weeks and I don't have any local work, well I don't have any local domestic work for that so um, I've got to go and rustle something up for that and um, get that all notified and done. I I'm hoping to get a bit shorter videos down as well because uh, the last few have been you know, 35 minutes, 45 minutes, 25 minutes and um, I just think you know, the, 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 the sort of 17 minute length is, is, is better really. Um, so um, thanks for tuning in, um, click subscribe and I'll see you soon.